So you represent one half of the brand Monetize Your Message. Can you tell us what that is and where you see that going? Yeah, absolutely. So Monetize Your Message was or is an initiative started by myself and co-founded by my business partner, friend, mentor, uncle, buddy, Darren K. Roberts. And when I tell you that me and that guy are tight, like we are tight, like airtight. And he was one of the first people to actually believe and reach out to me to come speak in 2017. So my one of my first gigs after my mom booked one in 2016, uh, my first paid one was in 2017. And it was a crazy story kind of how I got there. But when it came to later on in the year, I was writing for front office sports at that time. I was a contributing writer and timing was huge on that opportunity. And Darren began to see my articles pop popping up and he reached out to me and he said, hey man, love what you're doing. Come speak to my class at the University of Texas, Austin. And I was like, man, I said, you have any like budget, anything like that? It's like, you don't have much money, but I can pay you mileage and I can buy you lunch. I said, okay, bet. <laughs> so I took it, right? Because at that point in time, I was all of like two, two and a half speeches in. And so like no job was too small at that point in time. It still isn't, right? If it's the opportunity is right. And so we went down and knocked it out. And he took some great photos of me. And he really put me in position to look like I'd been doing it for years. And I was only three, three speeches in at that point in time. And so the strategy he had, he put me on his podcast, similar to like you're doing now. He put pictures and posted them on his Twitter and his other social media platforms. And I was able to put the UT brand, right, as a place I had spoken, right? Because as you know, in our, in our space, optics are what create opportunities, right? And so we, we, we stayed in contact since that time. And then finally, I think it was 2022. And this was the first time that we had actually been in the same space speaking. We were at the Black Student Athlete Summit. I think it was Houston, Texas in 22, if I'm not mistaken. And we didn't know each other would be there. And so I'm backstage getting ready to go on. And Darren comes walking up. Now, mind you, we've been staying connected over the socials and maybe text every now and then. But we hadn't seen each other since 2017 in person. And here it is five years, almost five years later. Right. And so we got to connect and then after that he followed up with me a, a month later and he was in like costa rica I said hey bro man the speaking industry the education out here is trash we need to start a business and within an hour i had a google doc within three days i had a logo and the rest is pretty much history so we had we had our first conference last year in in dallas in, in plano legacy west we hosted about 40 individuals and we'll have our second one this year, October 4th and 5th, and, and also in Plano at the Renaissance Hotel. And the biggest thing that we got from that, obviously we wanted to provide a great experience and do things the right way with integrity, not parade around celebrities and tell you how great we are, but give you tactical information that help, can help you grow your speaking career. Because what we did is we had our assistants go through and look at every single one of our competitors in the market and we basically had them do like some kind of mole operation and they broke down their entire business models from every platform they were using, every click funnel, every like every everything you could possibly imagine, drip campaigns, whatever it was. And we got we got basically a whole report on every single other competitor. Right. Even the ones that are household names, because you have to study the tape. You have to know what the market is, where it currently sits, what niche or what what space is available, right, for, for the infiltration. And you have to know how to attack it the right way to make sure you're creating some level of market segmentation or market differentiation. And that's what we did initially. And we had people came in, come in last year who have seen their businesses go uh, increase up to 60, 70%, just in terms of getting on stages and increasing their rates. It's just been so much fun to watch them but more importantly, they formed a community, like a true family, and to where now like three or four of the participants from last year are now working together, right? And working you know, for the same kind of same cause, right? And so seeing that manifest, is not something we planned for, but it was all the more rewarding because it's one of those things where you want people to have a good experience, you want people to connect, and when people are spending their money and time and resources, you know, it, it helps when they have people that are in the same boat with them and that can relate to them. And uh, that's what we built Monetizing Message upon was integrity, transparency, 
and giving people the actual tactics that we use to grow our speaking business and getting past the fluff. Because as you know, in the speaking world, it's like a huge black box, right? There's no like, you can't glass door it and see what the salary is, right? You can look at some Google averages, but it's not, it's not representative, right, of what's truly going on in the market. And so we cracked open the black box and we could tell that people were appreciative of that to the point where they said they spend loads of money on other resources and uh, some of even our competitors. And they said they don't know what they paid for, right? And we wanted to make sure that we were gonna be doing this with the right way because in today's day and age, there are so many people that are making money not off what they do, but by telling you what they do. And so we wanted to make sure we were doing the work, right? Showing, showing our work, right? Like you do it, like you do in, in mad class, right? And teaching people how to get the work. And that's what monetizing message is built upon.